What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Any home chest workout, we all know, is going to be made up primarily of push-up based exercises, right? It's the go-to exercise when you're trying to build a bigger chest and you don't want to use any equipment. Matter of fact, our Athlean Zero program has over 50 variations of push-ups that you can do to push you, no matter what level of ability you're at right now. However, it's more than just the exercises, guys, because when it comes down to it, if all you're doing is a push-up variation, it's how you do it that matters. So today I wanted to show you a technique that you can use, and it's one that we employ with our Athlean Zero program that allows you to push yourself not just to failure, right? If you want to build muscle, it's about pushing yourself through failure, okay? Get to failure, push yourself through failure. That's when you start to unlock a lot of new size gains, and that's what we're going to do right here. So this is our grinder technique. What you have to do, guys, is calculate your max number of push-ups. When I say calculate your max, I'm talking about go to the most that you can do and give it an honest effort. Knowing that you're going to base that number for the rest of the workout, you want to make sure you're doing it right. So again, good solid push-ups all the way down, all the way up, down, and up in a good steady cadence, all the way until you reach failure that it looks like this. You're fighting. You might squeeze out that last one. You come down and you kind of basically collapse. Whatever that number is, let's just call it 70 in this case, you rest two minutes. At that point, you want to now then attack the actual workout. And that's performing one and a half times the number of reps that you did to failure without ever touching your knees. This is where we grind it out. So if that number was 70, now we have 50% more, that's 35, add to the original 70, if you're math majors, it's 105 that you want to do. You got to get through 105, grinding them out without ever touching your knees to the ground. So what does that look like? So let's say I'm back now, two minutes later, and I'm doing my push-ups, okay? And I get myself up to, let's say, 40 or 42, and I'm getting tired, and I want to rest. I can rest like this. Okay, and then get myself in a few more reps, and I feel like I'm not going to be able to get through here. I can rest. I don't care the position you rest in. I've had guys rest down in a side plank here just to try to take the tension off the left arm, shake it out, and get back up again. Do a couple more reps. Come up again, shake out the arms here. As long as your knees don't touch, then you're still alive. And you got to get through 105 and grind yourself through. Again, we've hit failure. We know that failure number was 70. We're going to go through it. We're going to go beyond it and get you to 105. That's a different technique that ensures that we're pushing ourselves as hard as we possibly can. And that's what you have to do if you really want to take body weight exercises and allow them to help you to build muscle. So the next time you're going to do your chest workout at home, utilize this technique. I'm telling you, you're going to feel pushed in a way that you never felt pushed before. If you want a complete program, no bars, no bench, no bands, no bull, that's what we like to say here, Athlean Zero literally is 100% body weight only training. All your back exercises, yes, even found creative ways to do your biceps too, 100% body weight only, head to athleanx.com and grab our uh, Zero program. In the meantime, if you, if you like this video guys, you're gonna try this technique, make sure you leave a thumbs up below and let me know how you did. Could you grind it out all the way to that max one and a half times push-up number? Alright guys, we'll be back here again in just a few days.